Hi, my name is Emer O'Neill. Okay, so first question, what's your journey of being a mum been like so far? Uh, it's been amazing. Um, my first child, his name is Kyan, he's six years old now and he's in senior infant so he started back to school again on Monday so he's so happy to see his moon tour and all his friends and everything. Um, and then my daughter, her name is Sunny Ray. Now, she's a COVID baby, so I had her during COVID and that was, uh, that was interesting. Um, we definitely had a bubble, but you know, there was a lot of parts of that that have been tough as far as like, uh, you know, we got kept in hospital uh, for six days after she was born because I had high blood pressure and she had this kind of rash. Um, so her dad didn't actually get to see her again until she was a week old, um, including my mum not being able to hold her until she was about a month, I think, just because of COVID. So a bit, a bit, a bit strange, but um, I think it's been a really nice period of time where we can really connect as a family because it's just the four of us. Um, and obviously like dad would have been back to work but because he's at home he's getting to spend time with her and with Kai and um, go on walks and just be part of things that he probably wouldn't have been whilst I was on maternity leave. Um, okay so what's a highlight low light of being a mum that no one really gets to see? Okay I suppose the low light, I'll start with the low lights, they would probably be the lack of sleep um, the constant uh, thoughts in your mind that you're not doing enough, uh, the fear that they may have any of the kind of negative traits you have as a person, um, or I think but definitely with the homeschooling I have felt like is, is Kai falling behind because I don't know if I'm doing enough or you know we didn't get through all the homework that day so I'm like oh. Um, and then, you know, just, I suppose, like, you're just constantly in fear that you're just not doing all of the right things because, like, there is no guidebook really for this, uh, even though there is, there's thousands of them. But, I mean, really, the day-to-day -day life stuff um, and, and how things happen so organically, you know. Um, and then the highlights are, like, just about everything. You know, it's amazing seeing your kids grow, the different developmental changes that they go through day to day. Like even with Sunny specifically, cause she is 10 months, the changes happen. There's they're just something new nearly every day. Um, and I think during COVID that's been really good because we've had something to keep us going and look forward to. Like she's just right on the brink of walking at the moment. So we're just like waiting every day, but now she's, replying to commands so if I say dance she starts rocking like this if I say clap she claps if I say kiss kiss she goes <laughs> so like those kind of things are just like oh it's just amazing and to just know that you created these little people is is so it's so amazing it's such a great experience I honestly like I, I think for a long time before I had kids I wondered what was my purpose like why what is what is the reason for living sometimes, you know? And uh, and I think that like the, literally the day that I met Kai, I just, everything fell into place for me. Um, and everything that I was going to do going forward was gonna be for him. Uh, and same thing now with Sonny. What is your favorite thing about being a mom? Uh, I love the snuggles, I love the kisses. I love that I know somebody loves me unconditionally. Um, I love, to see them growing and their little personalities taking over. Um, I think, I just, I feel very lucky to be a mum, to be honest. Um, you know, like there obviously are loads of tough periods and there has been like Kai six, so he's started kind of going through the like, I know everything phase, which it, <laughs> I'm a teacher and I know that that continues all the way through into secondary school as well. So yay, <laughs> I'm excited. They're kind of a little bit more fun when they're 10 months old and they don't talk back to you. Um, but uh, yeah, like it's, I just, I love, I love every aspect of it. I really do. I just think having kids is just, such a it's a blessing really it's a wonderful a wonderful thing in life just watching your kids grow and being a part of that and help mold them as young people it's just brilliant
Okay, so what are you proudest of yourself on this journey? So I'd say probably my proudest thing is that I have managed to breastfeed Sunny Ray for 10 months. So I did start breastfeeding Kai, but at the time I was a single parent and I had to go straight back to work once I had him. So I only managed to breastfeed him for two months. And a lot of people said to me like, oh, when are you planning to stop breastfeeding? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, whenever I feel like it really, like, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But little did I know that it might not actually be my decision, which it ended up not being my decision. And um, he just one day decided, nope, no boob for me, I don't want it. Like I didn't get any breastfeeding pictures with Kai because I kind of thought I had like loads of time, but anyway that it just is what it is. So I was really happy that I'm still able to breastfeed Sunny Ray and I've taken hundreds of pictures of me breastfeeding this time around. Um, and I think, you know, the last time when I was breastfeeding with Kai, I think I was really um, embarrassed about it, I think. I always would go and hide in a place to do it. I didn't do it in front of people, whereas now I just whip the boob out wherever. And if you feel uncomfortable, you can leave, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, the, it was it was tricky in the beginning with Sunny Ray, I was touch and go and we were like talking about, cause it was causing me a lot of anxiety about the fact that I, I wasn't getting her to latch and I, I just really was hard on myself. I really wanted it so badly and it wasn't working out. And so we did discuss just let Louis just give her a bottle. Um, but I'm so glad that I persevered and just, just went for it. And now 10 months later, like I could be literally, getting dressed and if she sees a boob she'll latch on herself you know like it's just become a part of our lives which is just lovely and I just love that bond and connection that I have with her when she's feeding and when she sees me which well, she doesn't see me she just sees two boobs <laughs> thank you so much